It was the night before Valentine's Day. The weather had taken a turn and rain fell heavily over the Degree household. Ten-year-old Aisha Degree and her younger brother were tucked into bed by their mother. The Degrees had to face the night without power due to a car accident nearby. It wasn't until roughly 12.30am that the power was restored. It was around this time that Aisha's father checked in on his two children. He would check in on them again before going to bed around 2.30am. Not long after this, Aisha did something unexpected. She got out of her bed, changed her clothes, packed her bag and walked out the front door. Aisha's brother recalls hearing his sister's bed creak around this time, but he assumed she was just moving around in her sleep. Little did he know, the bed next to his was empty. Aisha walked away from her house in the dead of night and would soon be walking along a major highway. Aisha was seen walking along this highway. One witness was reported saying he saw her walking with her head down as if she was on a mission. Various cars spotted Aisha walking, but they did not report this until days later. However, there was one motorist who saw Aisha. He decided to turn his car around as he considered it to be quite odd to see a small child out at this hour walking alone. He drove past Aisha to get a better look and then turned around again. Naturally, this behavior would have spooked Aisha, so she decided to run away from the road. The man watched as Aisha ran away through the open field before entering the nearby woods and disappearing. The next morning arrived at the Degree household. It was roughly 5.30 a.m. when Aisha's mother decided to run a bath for her children. She would have normally done this the night before, but due to the power outage, it could not be done. She then went to the children's bedroom to wake them, and it was then, to her horror, that she recognized that Aisha was not in her bed, not in the house. She was nowhere to be seen. Desperate efforts were made to try and find any evidence for Aisha on that first day, but to no avail. The local news team picked up the story and ran it, which prompted the witnesses from the night before to call in what they had seen. This included the witness that saw Aisha run into the woods. Three days after Aisha disappeared, a few of her belongings were found. A white Atlanta 1996 Olympics pencil, a green marker, a Minnie Mouse bow, and also some candy wrappers. These items were found on the ground in the doorway of a tool shed. The shed sat only a hundred yards west of the highway where the driver saw Aisha run into the woods. A wallet-sized picture of a little girl was also found amongst Aisha's known belongings. This photo was not of Aisha. It is believed that the photo could have fallen out of Aisha's pocketbook, but it can't be known for sure if it belonged to her. To this day, it is not known who the girl in the picture is. From the evidence that investigators gathered, it is believed that Aisha had planned and prepared for her departure that rainy night, although they conceded that she is not your typical runaway, as most children who run away are at least 12 years old. They believe that Aisha either went off track during her walk and got lost or was abducted. Aisha's book bag and other items were discovered at a construction site roughly 42 kilometers from where Aisha went missing. It contained a copy of Dr. Seuss's Miguel Agot's Pool and a t-shirt of the band New Kids on the Block. Neither of these items belonged to Aisha prior to her disappearance. The FBI announced that Aisha may have been seen getting into a dark green early 1970s Lincoln Continental Mark IV or possibly a Ford Thunderbird from the same era along Route 18 near where she was seen later that night. Unfortunately, Aisha Degree's disappearance is not any closer to being solved. To keep the memory of Aisha alive as well as her case, her family and many members of the local community retrace Aisha's steps each year on the day of her disappearance, Valentine's Day. Heartbreakingly, this is also the same day as Aisha's parents' anniversary. If you have any details that could lead to solving the disappearance of Aisha Degree, please alert your local authorities. Any detail, even if it seems small or insignificant, could become crucial in solving this 22-year-old case.